Next, we'd like to talk about how to set up the software for sending emails and SMS messages to your customers. You may have noticed that in the customers menu, mailing list, once you compile a mailing list, you have the email to list and SMS to list button in here. So you can send an email to the list or you can send SMS messages to the list that you compile. And also you can send SMS messages and emails to your customers as appointment reminders. If you go to setup, main setup, you must have noticed this option in here that says send SMS and email appointment reminders within so many days, right? Once this option is checked, it's in effect, the software is going to attempt to send these reminders within as many days as you uh, say in advance, right? And uh, you can use this feature in here as appointment reminders or as previously we, show, uh, we have shown in the mailing list as a marketing uh, tool. However, in order to make these options functional, both as a marketing feature or as an appointment reminder, to make the software capable of sending email and SMS messages, first you need to go to Setup, Email and SMS Setup. Now basically this setup screen in this is asking you for the credentials of your email service so that it can send emails in your name from your email address so that the from field has your email in it just as if you wrote the emails that this software will send. Now if you don't feel comfortable giving our software your email credentials, you should know that uh, you don't have to use your existing email for this purpose, but you can create a new one just for this purpose and that will not cost you anything because this feature as you can see in here uh, has the option to use a Yahoo and Gmail uh, email address or email credentials and uh, those are the two most used email services worldwide and they're absolutely free so obtaining an email address with them is free. Now uh, the setup is pretty self-explanatory. It's asking you for your email address that will be something like let's say your name uh, at yahoo.com now if your domain is not yahoo.com but you still have a yahoo account all of the yahoo domains are right here in this drop down menu like AT&T Bell South Frontier and all of them literally and you can select the correct one for you right now uh, the server address comes pre-filled like this because many people don't even understand what this is but it's simply the address on the internet of the server that uh, hosts your in this case Yahoo uh, mail right so this is the Yahoo mail server pre-filled for you the port of the Yahoo mail server as the communications port uh, that uh, will be used for communicating to that server 587 is the recommended default for Yahoo right pre-filled for you but if you need to change any of these you can just write over them and, and, and change them right now uh, these two uh, fields in here are basically your creden credentials username and password so your username uh, um, most of the time will be your email uh, with that company so let's say again your name at yahoo.com and it's usually going to be the username and then the password whatever password you uh, fill in to log into your uh, email and we should say one more time that uh, if you don't feel comfortable giving our software your credentials in here you can just create a new Yahoo or Gmail account they're absolutely free and you can use that one only for these purposes for marketing or appointment reminders in your company now the Gmail example, if you're going to set up uh, this with Gmail, with a Gmail account, you click right here, is basically the same. Your email address at gmail.com or if it's another um, domain, you can select it from the drop down menu. We have all the domain for the Gmail server. Uh, the server address pre-filled for you for Gmail again. The port is the same, the recommended one for Gmail. Uh, you can overwrite all of that if there's something in there that you need to customize. And username and password works pretty much the same now um, in the end there is one extra step that you need to take uh, if you're gonna do a Google account a Gmail account as it says in here an additional step is required to set up your Google account to link to our software click here for instructions so as soon as you click right there it gives you instructions uh, follow those instructions um, and uh, this is about the fact that you need to go into your Google account and check a certain option or set a setting in there in order to make the linking between our software and your Google account successful and this link in here takes you right there to your Google account to the setting that you need to uh, check out 
Uh, so if you follow this instruction and the link, uh, it will help you. Uh, it's pretty straightforward and you'll get it done. However, it's worth noting that the Yahoo uh, integration is uh, one step less. You don't have to do this. You don't have to set up anything in your Yahoo account, just what you see on this screen. And one last option for both Yahoo and Gmail, there's the secure SSL connection that just um, determines whether or not you want to use the SSL encryption in the communication between our software and the Yahoo or Gmail server. And this is advice to stay on, to stay checkmarked. But if for whatever reason you don't want a secure connection, you can always uncheck this. Like with everything else, we give you the option in here to uh, put your uh, you know, two cents into it. Now after you set all those parameters, you're ready to uh, send a test email using this button and a test SMS using this button to see if everything that you've set up works uh, fine. Now uh, before you do that, we'd just like to explain something that may sound confusing or counterintuitive in here as to uh, why we're asking for just the email credentials to be able uh, to do the sending of not only email but also SMS messages. However, the answer to that is that our software and many other software like ours that want to keep the sending of SMS messages free to their customers send SMS messages through email by writing an email to a special designated address, email address for that special purpose to the designated cell phone provider or operator like AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Sprint, whatever your customer has. And that is how SMS messages are sent from programs like ours and websites for absolutely free of charge. Any other method would involve a cost to you per message and that cost can add up extremely high if you pay the usual 10 to 15 cents per message and you are a well-established business with a few thousand customers in your database. So we try to keep uh, this service absolutely free for you and uh, this is the only way to send SMS messages for free by sending actual email messages to the cell phone service providers with the required info so their service computer knows uh, to which of their uh, customers to send the SMS message to and what uh, content should be in that message so it all goes flawlessly within a few seconds and the whole process is fully automated now uh, the only extra step in here is uh, that to keep this free, to use this method, we need to know which service provider or carrier your customers use. So when you take a phone number from your customers and when you enter it uh, in the database of our software, like right here, let me just show you in customer, right? In the customer database, when you enter it, let's say their cell phone number, right? You also have to take one extra step and enter their carrier or carrier SMS domain as we call it right here and uh, now of course this may sound like too much to ask but keep in mind we help you with this as well if you don't want to ask your customers who their cell phone provider is you can simply use the link we have for you right here that says free carrier lookup if you click on it it takes you to an online tool that uh, simply asks you for the customer's phone number you enter any cell phone number in here and click search right there what it's gonna do is it's going to do a search in a database of all cell phones and carriers and it's going to come up with a result for you kind of like this screen in here we did this um, you know for you to show you in here uh, we just masked out the, the customers phone number so that we keep uh, their privacy and it tells you that the carrier is Sprint is it wireless yes now this is the information you need that says SMS gateway address it's like an email address it's gonna have the customers phone number and then at messaging.sprintpcs.com that's what we need at messaging.sprintpcs.com which is kind of like uh, of course um, you know intuitive because the customer has a sprint carrier so we need messaging.sprintpcs.com uh, we're gonna go ahead and put that in here the drop down menu con con you know contains all of them so let's find it messaging.sprintpcs.com there it is so there's the single extra step you have to take. Uh, you, you, if you have these two pieces of information in here in the customer's data, this customer, our software will be able to send them SMS messages, right? And uh, one last thing, uh, when we're setting up, uh, when we're setting up the um, email SMS setup, once you do your tests in here, click Save to save your settings if everything's successful, of course.